Okay, for example number four, we're gonna be graphing a horizontal shift of the parent function y is equal to the log of base b of x. So horizontal shifts of the parent function. So for any constant c, the function f of x, which is equal to the log of base b of x plus c, it shifts the parent function left c units if c is greater than zero. It's gonna shift the parent function right c units if c is less than zero. It has the vertical asymptote at x is equal to negative c. It has a domain of negative c to infinity. And it has the range from negative infinity to positive infinity. So, in example four, if we're given a logarithmic function with that form, we want to graph the translation. So again, we're going to have to, number one, identify the horizontal shift. Is c greater than zero? Then we're going to shift the graph left c units. Is c less than zero? Then we're going to shift the graph to the right c units. We're going to draw the vertical asymptote where x is equal to negative c. And then we're going to identify three key points from the parent function. Find the new coordinates for the shifted functions by subtracting c from the x coordinate. Label the three points. And then the domain is negative c to infinity. And the range is negative infinity to positive infinity. And the vertical asymptote is x is equal to negative c. So in example number four, we're going to sketch the horizontal shift of f of x, which is equal to the log of base three, of x minus two, alongside its parent function. And we're going to include the key points and asymptotes on the graph, and then state the domain, the range, and the asymptote. Now, since the function f of x, which is, is equal to the log of base three of x minus two, we notice that x plus minus two it's the same thing as x minus two. So therefore, c is equal to negative two. And so therefore, c is less than zero. This means that we will shift the function to the right two units. And the vertical asymptote is gonna be x, which is equal to the negative times the value of c, which is negative two, or x is equal to positive two. So on our graph, Right now you can see what the original function looks like. We have a x-intercept at one zero. We have a value of three one. And we also have a value of negative one third and negative one. So we're gonna consider those three points of the parent function. So since we know that our vertical asymptote is at x equals two, so we're shifting that over two units. So there is our vertical asymptote. And then what we're going to do to each and every x value is that we're going to add the value of 2. So in this, in the first order pair, if we take 1 third and then add 2 over 1, which is the same thing as 1 third plus 6 over 3, then that gives us 7 thirds. Okay, if we take a look at the next one, if we take one and then we add two, then we're gonna get a value of three. And if we take a look at the next one, if we take three and then add two, and it's gonna give us five. So as you can see here, that our new x coordinates have changed to those values. And if you notice that the y values remain unchanged, and the reason being is because we are only shifting to the right. So now we can plot our new points. We can plot our point three zero, we can plot our point five one, and we can plot our point seven thirds negative one. And so the one in red now represents our function f of x, which is equal to the log of base three of x minus two. Then now, since we shifted it over two units, the domain is two to infinity, the range is negative infinity to positive infinity, and the vertical asymptote is now located at x is equal to two. 